Let's do number three. So step one says we need to put it in general form. So we need to set it equal to zero. So as you can see, we need to get this 33 to the left side. So that on the right it equals zero. So since it's a positive 33, we're going to subtract 33 from both sides. 33 minus 33 is zero, which is what we wanted. And then on the left, we have x squared minus 8x minus 33 because none of those are like terms so that you can't group any of them together. So you're just going to subtract 33. So now we have step one done. Step two is to list a, b, and c and what they're equal to. A is the coefficient in front of x squared, so that's 1, so a equals 1. B is the coefficient in front of x, that's negative 8. And c is the constant at the end, so c is negative 33. So that's step 2. Once you have that done, we're just going to plug these values into the quadratic formula. When you do this, you need to repeat this as you're doing it. That'll help you memorize it. So it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by, make sure you divide the whole numerator by 2 times a and a is 1. So that's step three. And now the last thing you need to do is you need to simplify until you can't simplify anymore. So let's start with this. Negative times negative eight is a positive eight, plus or minus the square root. Negative eight squared is 64. And then negative four times negative 33 is 132. And that's a negative times a negative, so that becomes positive. So plus 132, and that's all divided by 2, because 2 times 1 is 2. Simplifying again, we still have 8 plus or minus the square root. 64 plus 132 is 196, and that's divided by 2. And now you want to check and see if this uh, square root is a perfect square. And if you do that in your calculator, it should give you 14. So we're going to rewrite this as 14. So 8 plus or minus 14. Now remember, don't bring the square root with it. We took the square root of 196. So 8 plus or minus 14 divided by 2. Now when you get here, you're going to have two solutions. 8 plus 14 divided by 2 and 8 minus 14 divided by 2. So if we simplify that, 8 plus 14 is 22 divided by 2, and that gives us 11, so that's one of our zeros. And 8 minus 14 is a negative 6 divided by 2, and that's negative 3, so that's another one of our zeros. So our zeros are 11 and negative 3.